Today's humans have now volunteered so much of their lives through self-generated content that archives for individuals have not only become necessary, they've resulted in digital selves that outlive the physical death of a person. What was once a collection of memories on social media is now a seemingly living thing. By continuing to interact in social spaces, they provide comfort to the relatives they've left behind. Increasingly, these digital humans have agency, particularly as the physical and digital worlds combine. Criminals already target these infinimes with the next generation of ransomware. Grieving families, meanwhile, have sought the help of human rights lawyers to prevent their loved ones being switched off, or in some cases, to enforce that they are. Michael Cavanaugh was one of the leading faces of the campaign against the single digital identity. Are we already beginning to see a public backlash against this movement? There have been some incidences where splitter homes and splitter held businesses were targeted with graffiti. Splitters go home, or quite simply, split. So what, the splitters want to expose Corlo for their alleged data abuse? I don't buy that. Except. Good morning, Inspector. You took your time. <sighs> I wouldn't be so cocky if I were you, Miss Sanchez. Is that so? I just cracked your entire case for you. Oh, it's quite all right. I only did what was right. To get to the truth? Truth. Funny thing. As elusive as a word on the tip of one's tongue. You know what you want to say, but it's just not there. And when you finally think you have it, the conversation has moved on. Nice try. Oh, on the contrary, I should congratulate you on the nice try. All things considered, you were right on a couple of occasions. A couple? A couple of occasions? I was the first one there getting my hands dirty when no one gave a... All those people dead and their families? Not you or not Corlo. I spelled it out pretty clearly on my show. I named names, I had witnesses, I offered proof. Proof, huh. You mean the video? The one in which Michael Kavanaugh admits to buying access to Corlo or the fake one? What did you say? I'm sorry. <clears throat> Maybe I was speaking too softly. The fake one! Nothing's fake. The data's legit. Oh, I bet 90-some percent of the data was legit. But the devil is in the detail. It could get really dangerous for people. Exposing Corlo is important, but we can't endanger people's lives. Let's take it slowly. I'm doing you a favor not arresting you right now. This is getting very complicated. Instead, I'm asking you, where did you get that video? This is a trap. This is a trap. This is a trap because you don't care about the truth. You don't care, you don't, you don't care about the truth. What you care about is for me to give you the name of the whistleblower, but I'm not gonna do that. You know why? Because you arrested Michael. You already arrested him. So you know that he's guilty. Of receiving stolen goods and computer misuse? Yes, that part is true and you proved it. But the craziness that is happening right now is based on a doctored video. A video you presented to the world as the truth. And I need to know where it came from, Julia. Who gave you this video? I cannot believe that Julia Sanchez would stream this kind of fake news. The evidence gathered and, of course, the materials presented in Mrs. Sanchez's show 
are of great interest. But I want to stress something very clearly here. The investigation is still ongoing, and it's too early to press any charges against anyone. And why are we not even considering that this whole thing may have been an influence operation by a foreign power? There are many nations that would like easy access to this kind of data. Marcus Richardson. No one with that name ever worked for Corlo. That doesn't make any sense. Did Sanchez fake it? And if so, why? The story actually checks out in the end. Michael Kavanagh's arrest has given us some valuable insight, though. Since we now know which credentials were compromised, it's easy to see their movements through our system. <laughs> and it's, it's... It's what? It's stupid. These guys look like a bunch of amateurs. You can see their movements from space. They flapped around in our partner databases and in HR, but they never even came close to our medical-related infrastructure. It's almost as if they... they avoided it on purpose. So that part is fake, and everything else we've learned about recently is true. How is that possible? A lie gets halfway around the world before the truth has a chance to put its pants on. What does that even mean? That means there's another party involved. During our analysis, we came across the remnants of a code sequence which reset the first generation stents back to the original factory settings. That code is gone, but we managed to find traces of it, or rather, its effects on other systems. And this stuff, it's not amateur. Everything that's happened so far, everything that's happening now, has all the hallmarks of state-sponsored activity. They knew our systems, they knew our codes, they're well-resourced, they're patient, and they're precise. Why would anyone go to all of the trouble? What's the aim? Killing people, implicating the splitters, and getting it broadcast? Wait. The referendum. It is a possibility. We need to c c contact the authorities. Tell them everything we know. And tell them what? That we've been breached multiple times over months? Or that our security systems have glaring blind spots? Or that we think that bad people in another country are using our incompetence to influence the public vote in favor of the single digital identity? Who's gonna believe that? And even if somehow it gets voted through tonight, we could do so much more. Just think of all of the correlation, the training pools, Think about all of the good that we could do. Richard, we could really, and I mean really, change the world. The latest sentiment analysis shows a significant shift in voting intentions for tonight's referendum. It could be even more closely fought than last time. In other news, how safe is your digital persona? New findings show a rise in cyber kidnapping. Is this the latest evolution of ransomware, the cockroach of cybercrime? Hey, Steven! Hey, Steven! Hey, Steven! Hey, Steven! Where the, where the hell are you, Steven? Steven's not here right now. Can I take a message? This isn't time for jokes, Stephen. I need to speak to your contact in the cyber division, the one that sent you the data. Oh, oh, I can't do that. What? I need to speak to her now. Is there a problem? Oh, there's a huge problem. That video of Michael and the splitters, it's fake. 
Holt showed me a completely different version of it. Maybe his version is fake. <laughs> That's not funny, Stephen. I need to speak to your contact now, and I need to speak to Marcus. We're all in big trouble, and so is New San Hoban if I don't speak to them now. Right now, Stephen! I'm sorry, Julia. I can't do that. Why not? Hmm. Well, because... Oh, yeah. They don't exist. The truth always is subjective. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> <laughs>